For the derivative of logarithmic functions, when we're given log base k of x, we know that its derivative would be 1 over x multiplied by the natural log of k. Now, let's take the common logarithm of x as an example, which is in base 10. Its derivative is 1 over x multiplied by the natural log of 10. Sounds clear, right? But why is that? Let's figure it out together. Back to our previous example, let's assume that we do not know the derivative of this common logarithm, so we want to get rid of it by changing its base. Let's consider an example where we are given log base x of y, and we wish to change its base to, let's say, k. By doing so, we will be getting log base k of y, divided by log base k of x. In this case, we want to change our base from 10 to base e, which is the natural logarithm. We are doing this to make our differentiation easier. By changing the base, we get natural log of x, divided by natural log of 10. And we have changed the base from base 10 to base e, natural logarithm. Now, we can find the derivative of this directly using the quotient rule, or we can multiply both sides by the natural log of 10, allowing us to apply implicit differentiation. Alternatively, we can try to rewrite this by bringing the ln x down, and we end up with 1 over natural log of 10 multiplied by ln x. This makes it even easier for us to find the derivative. We take the derivative with respect to x, and you'll notice that 1 over natural log of 10 is actually a constant without any variables, so we can bring it outside of the derivative. And we end up with 1 over natural log of 10 multiplied by the derivative of ln x. Now, we just only have to find the derivative of this ln x, and we know that it is equal to 1 over x. All we left to do now is to multiply these two terms together, in which we will be getting 1 over x multiplied by the natural log of 10. And we are done. We have just found the derivative of the logarithmic function. Drop a comment below if you are struggling with any part of the calculations. I spend hours making videos explaining math topics, and all I ask for in return is simply to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.